Hey everybody, Steven here. Today I'm doing an unboxing video for the HyperX Pulsefire Core mouse. So this is kind of like a really good budget mouse that I saw. I like HyperX, I especially like their headsets, but I figured people are going to be needing some gaming peripherals and maybe they're on a budget, so it was a good time to actually jump into that. The other thing that pushed me into doing this was that my wife is actually now going to be working from home for a while, so she'll be using the Strixgar 3 laptop that I have and then I need a mouse for her so went ahead and picked this up and uh, just figured it was a good opportunity for me to check out a different mouse and review it but she also doesn't need like a hundred dollar gaming mouse right so let's unbox this guy here and then we'll talk about some of the specs Pretty plain and simple with this right here. So, get this guy out. Feels good in the hand, just the initial kind of grabbing of the mouse feels good. We'll peel all this plastic off here in a second. Um, and it does have the really good like mesh cord with it. So let's look at the specs real quick with this. So, um, I mean, it does have RBG lighting on it, so we're gonna have to download the software if we wanna tinker with that, we'll actually do that. But uh, it only has 6,200 6, DPI with this. So, I mean, for some people, I have two different, um, what do call them, mice, that uh, it goes up to 12,000. I'm never close to 12,000. So I usually am closer to that 6200 range with this so for a lot of people I mean unless you're like a competitive gamer or something like that I mean at that point you're probably gonna be buying a, a super expensive mouse anyways but it goes up to 6200 DPI um, it is rated up to 200 or 20 million clicks seven programmable buttons and it weighs 87 grams with this so that's pretty awesome and it also comes with a two-year warranty they say that on the back of the box here which is cool so 30 bucks, I mean, it's it's not a bad price tag with this. Um, let's go ahead and peel these guys off. And last one, whoa, last, is that two? Last two. All right. So, scrolling wheel, which feels good, just right off the bat. And then scrolling wheel will actually click. We have this one, this one, and the two on the side here. And then obviously these two. So feels good so far, but we gotta put this thing uh, to the test here. So I'm actually going to hook it up to my Strix Scar 3 laptop and uh, we'll play a couple games. We'll play uh, Doom Eternal with this and uh, just see how it does with that, especially when it's a shooter and uh, you're needed to kind of move a little bit quicker. Just on the base too, I mean, we can see the movement plates here. I don't know what those are specifically called, but um, we have that right there. Uh, handful of the ones that I have. I mean, you look at the, this is the Logitech G703 here. You can see it's kind of around the bottom like that. These are just bigger plates with this. Just size comparison to, harder to get my hand out of the way, but a little bit bigger here. In terms of weight, this is slightly heavier, but it's pretty close. So let's go ahead and uh, get this thing all set up. Let's play some games and then uh, I'll actually just do me playing games for the rest of this. And then I'll give my opinion, just my initial opinion with that as well, just with voiceover versus cutting back to this. So uh, you guys don't have to see my face again. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get uh, started with this. So right off the bat, the mouse feels really, really good in my hand. Uh, the cord is actually six feet long. I didn't mention that, but it is six feet long. The buttons, the clicking feels really, really good. The scroll wheel feels good too, feels solid. It feels a little bit light for my preference. I do like a little bit heavier mouse, but I think for most people it's gonna be fine. I have this on a cloth mouse pad right now, but I do recommend a hard surface mouse pad. It'll just feel a little bit better, but that's definitely a preference thing for me. And like I said, this is actually for my wife's home setup for work. So she's going off of the Strixgar 3 laptop that I have. 
and she's not gaming or anything like that so it does serve the purpose for her but it is nice to have this kind of as a backup so when i'm ready to just hop on and game for a second i don't have to mess with anything i just have the mouse ready to go in terms of setup it was really really easy just plugged it in but if you want to actually change any of the light settings you're going to need to download their software which is okay it's pretty basic there's not a ton of effects we have the static light we have rainbow and then we have breathing you can change the pulse rate you can also change the three different dpi settings there as well and you can have those just as your presets for this but with that like i said it's pretty basic and i don't know if that changes based off of the mouse that you have. I don't know if some of their other mouse actually have more settings available to it or not. The one thing I will say is with any mouse that has RGB lighting on it, they always put the logo typically on top of it, which means your hand just covers it, which kind of makes it pointless. The only time you're looking at that lighting is when you're not touching the mouse. I kind of wish they would move to doing it on the side if they're gonna do it at all. And I have seen some that have that on the side there, but I just noticed it's kind of the more common thing that you see, and that's just a personal gripe that I have. All right, so on to games here. So I played Doom Eternal with this. I think the hard pad would have helped a little bit. I'm also on our dining room table with a giant mouse pad. So I think that's gonna be one of the things that affected this, but it felt great. I should have tinkered a little bit more with the DPI settings. It wasn't quite what I needed. I noticed later that I was picking up my hand to move the mouse and you shouldn't have to do that. So uh, it felt, like I said, amazing. There wasn't any problems with it. I didn't f experience any lag. The buttons feel great. Scroll wheel feels awesome. All the secondary buttons feel really, really good. But like I've said, if you're probably a competitive gamer, obviously you're not going to be buying this. You're going to be getting a very high tiered mouse. But for anybody that's looking for something and they are on a budget, I think this is a really good find. And I did just see after I bought this, because I paid 30 bucks for this, it's on sale on Amazon for 20 So if you find it on sale for 20 I mean, that's a hard price to beat. Because a lot of times you'll see other, and they're not knockoff brands, but they're just lesser known brands. And it kind of seems like the thing with those is the quality isn't the best. And HyperX is a trusted company, so I don't have any problem recommending this mouse at all. All right, so moving on to Subnautica Below Zero, which is something I'm more known for on this channel here. I think that's going to be one of the bigger draws for this mouse is games that are like Subnautica Below Zero. They're adventure games, they're RPGs, anything like that. I think the first-person shooters are fine, but I think if you're really, really into first-person shooters, and I've mentioned a pro gamer, you don't have to be a pro gamer if you just are an enthusiast with those types of games. You're probably looking for something maybe just a little bit better than this. But I think for anybody else, like I said, this is a great find for this one. Um, and for the 20 bucks, I mean, that's going to be a hard price to beat compared to other budget mouse on Amazon or Newegg or anything like that where the quality just isn't quite the same. Now, for people that aren't necessarily on a budget, if you could save like just 20 bucks more, and I'm taking this kind of more off the base price of 30 bucks, which is what I paid for this. If you can go into the 40s or 50s, I would recommend the Logitech G403, and then I would recommend the G502, and then if you want to go wireless, you can get the G305. It doesn't have RGB lighting on it, but it lasts a long time, and I love the feel of the Logitech mice. And all the peripherals with my computer are mostly Logitech, and I just really like the, the feel of the mice themselves, but I have the G560 speakers, I have the power play, I have their keyboard. I mean, I've just kind of built a system around that, but that's if you can save a little bit more money. If not, like I said, I think this is a great buy for this price point. So that is going to be it. If there's anything that I didn't answer in regards to this, definitely let me know in the comment section. But if you guys like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. I'm going to have a link for this in the description. Hopefully it's still on sale for the 20 bucks. And if not, like I said, if you can save a little bit more, I'll have the links for the other Logitech mice as well on there. So thank you guys so much for watching.